A big legal loss for Rumpke could mean bigger bills for you. The Ohio Supreme Court today ruled Rumpke cannot expand its enormous landfill in Coltrane Township. Nine News reporter Amy Wattis here live with what she's learned in just the past few hours about this case. Amy? Clyde, I have the Ohio Supreme Court's ruling from today right here in my hands. Now, after hearing this, Rumpke officials say they fear residents could pay more out of pocket if their trash is taken elsewhere. Around 2 million tons of trash is brought into the Rumpke facility every year. But that could eventually change with today's ruling by the Ohio Supreme Court. Something nearby resident Vanessa Wilson is thrilled about after her experience last night. You could smell it all the way down the street, like at Walgreens last night. So, and that's what, like a couple miles down the street? The Supreme Court stated that Rumkey is not a public utility and it will have to abide by regular zoning laws in order to make its 206 acre expansion. We're going to continue to engage in this effort until we reach a, a plan that benefits all of all parties involved and really secures the essential service. A company that services customers in a 60 mile radius with only 15 years of space left to use. Oh, this is great news. By striking down Rumkey's public utility claim, the Ohio Supreme Court has upheld the will of Coleraine Township. English says it's time to start looking to other ways to dispose of the trash. The answer with what to do with our garbage in this region is not to expand our landfill, it's to recover our waste stream to the 50 to 75 percent that other communities do. The reality is, right now, there's not a technology available that enables us to recycle or reuse every type of waste that's generated. If Rumkey doesn't expand, Pratt says residents will have to pay more out of pocket to have the trash taken elsewhere, with the nearest landfills 50 to 90 miles away. But Vanessa Wilson wants to see the smell and sound of these trucks disappear. And Rumkey officials say they're trying to do all they can to keep down that smell since they're located right next to a residential area. The company says they plan to continue their fight in the court system. Amy Wanis, 9 News, live from Coleraine Township. Amy, thanks. Some unsettling news now.